Okay, so let's take a look at how you can build rain particle effect in Codot Engine. So what we'll do is we'll open Codot Engine. Make sure you create one empty project and click on Edit. Now let's go back to our 2D scene. So I have added one 2D scene within which I'm going to add child node, which is going to be particle 2D. Okay. Once you add that, what you need to do is you have to go to this inspector on the right side that says process material and within that choose new particle material. Right now save this. Now you adjust the placement for your particle. You will see it is already started dripping down the particles. So I have placed it at center now first thing is setting the amount so considering this is rain we need large number of particles let's go with 800 we will increase once we realize the amount of particle that we need next thing is we have to also adjust the lifetime set it for 4.5 more larger that means get more area cover now next thing we also have to go to our particle material section to edit some of the things like color let's choose something like bluish white you pick based on what's the available background here or any particular image that you use within your 2d game right so once you add that, save this, you will find that your particle dripping down are in blue in color. Right? You can actually notice that when you run the preview. Right? Now, next thing, we have to adjust the gravity. Okay. Now, Y axis, which means downwards, it is already at perfect point so we will only adjust its range to left hand side with minus 25 as you can see now it's slightly looking like typical tilted rain okay now what we have to do is we have to set a shape for this right so emission shape set it to box right and here we will increase its x value let's say 600 and as you can see it is now looking like rain you can play with few of the values like amount that we already set to 700 800 you can increase it to higher let's say 900 it would appear a lot different as well right few more things to change is scale right where we have scale of let's say 3 and you will find your rain particle much bigger in size you want to make them random so let's go with value of 1 which is random and slow you can reduce the value if you want to go with 0.4 right you can experiment with that there is one more thing we have to do is we have to go to time category here and here we have to add just the speed scale to set 2 you will find rain is a bit faster now right now you can make few more changes to this to make your rain going slow fast or adjusting to another wind which can add with particle effect right so depending on how you make the game and how you want the rain to appear like some games just want it vertically and they don't want this tilted angle to left or right so you can adjust as per that you can run the preview it should look something like this 
the first load will take time for the rain to properly appear but after that it should look something like this if you experiment more with the values on particle material here with your setting for gravity scale and also for randomness that should change the value so hopefully you get the idea how to create the rain particle effect